Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are watching one channel in particular. We're going to watch three videos. This is a channel called Unknowingly, and they've done a series called The Man in the Suit. And basically, it's about Godzilla and the different suits and incidences within the suits. I don't know if they're based in reality or, you know, um, loosely based in reality. But this was recommended to me on my Discord by Monkey, and they said this. Hey, Baz, you need to watch all these videos because of their creepy, almost Junji Ito feel. And you don't even need to know really anything about Godzilla to enjoy. I do know this person, Junji Ito. My housemate told me about him. I believe he's like a a, horror, a manga horror creator. Like one of the best at doing it. So this is going to be intriguing. And uh, I've never actually watched Godzilla before. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I probably should. In honesty, I've heard good things about it, but apparently I don't need to have watched it to enjoy this. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy this, be sure to go check out Unknowingly. They will be linked down below. Go watch the videos in a separate tab. Give them watch time, like the video, subscribe. I'm going to subscribe already because I just know this is going to be good. And yeah, we're going to jump into the first video. The first video is called Godzilla Suit Instant 1954 Godzilla Analog Horror. Now the description says this. Godzilla may be a monster, but it doesn't seem to me that way. He is rather God. We control our world according to our own order, and I will become the flesh of beasts. I will be Godzilla's host, because I want to become a god that is respected by people. I want to be this beast's meat. And the fear of what, which one is wrong, I'm not a movie monster. This is Goji, law of good and evil. I will live inside this beast because he's the only one who can help us. There's no God, just me, Goji. My God, well, this guy's got a freaking complex, hasn't he? Right, let's jump into this, guys. There we go. Three, two, one, and... Let's go, baby. One thing I noticed about one of these videos in particular is that the... I don't know if it's this one. No, it's not this one. But the aspect ratio was literally like this, and I've never seen that on a video before. Okay, here we go. Turn this up a little bit. Here we go. Just sorry, guys. There we go. Making sure I'm not stopping my recording. So Godzilla was the result of uh, the atomic bomb, right? Like, and, like he came from the ocean and just started wreaking havoc. Like he was the results of radiation or something like that, right? I don't know. I, I don't know how right that is. The person in the Gojira suit was unknown at the time, but the story the actor has with Gojira is odd. This is a photo of him in the suit. Well, that's just that's just the monster. Here is another picture. These are just still shots. It'd be cool if you could see him, like, with it, with the head off, maybe. Or is it like a full body suit? He got the acting job of being and wearing the Go Gorgia suit. Is that right? Was it Gojira or Gorgia? Is that a... Okay, never mind. What was that? There was a little flash there, but I think it was in... Is it Japanese? And the actor fell in love with it. Damn, look at the size of that thing. He would wear the suit most of the time to the point that you never saw his actual face, a Toho producer. Interesting, he got a little bit too methodical with his role. Even when we take breaks, he would just wear the suit. The suit would sometimes heat up, but he didn't care. <laughs> he just there sweating bullets inside the suit. Just absolutely reeking of crap. It was like if he was addicted to the suit, like it's calling his name. Interesting, okay. I like this so far. He's gotten to the point where he brings the suit home, even though we tell him not to. <laughs> he, sh he showers with the suit on. He wouldn't really speak a lot, but he's, he would say that his name is Goji, basically the nickname we gave to the suit. The last time he was seen on set, he was acting in the suit until he just stopped. This is the photo that was taken. What happened? Several minutes later, he would start to walk and stop yet again. His breathing was muffled, yet he was also breathing oddly. Hmm, interesting. It's Springtrap. It's William Afton. This is what he was doing. The director thought this was a joke, poking at him to go get back in place, but he wouldn't budge. He's becoming the Zilla. After two odd minutes of oddly breathing, he would tell people to check on him and to make sure he takes off the suit. Imagine how badly this man smelled. This was the photo someone took before the person on the right saw what was inside. Oh God, what, what happened? 
The man opened the costume to see that he was growing into the suit. His flesh would slowly rip away as he tried to open the pocket where Axe would enter the suit. Oh my god, he literally is turning into William Afton. That's disgusting. The suit was now his skin. Ugh. My god. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's a terrifying thought. I mean, no offense, but that's probably just like old skin cells, right? He hasn't showered in like months. It's just old skin cells like coming off of him. Somehow his body deformed to the point he was filling the inside of the suit. My god, so he was bloating on the inside. So he was he was morphing to the, the shape of the suit. This is what they expected. Damn. That looks hard to uh, like control. How big was the suit? It was actually 20 foot tall. Or what, how big would it have been? Like 200 foot tall? Godzilla's huge, isn't it? This is what they found. Jesus! He grew to a lizard! He's officially a member of the royal family! Okay, wow. Interesting. I like that. Hey, who's this guy? Let's have a look. Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. I ah, great, man. Uh, that was awesome. Let me give that a like. Uh, that was really, really cool. I enjoyed that. So that was Godzilla Suit Incident. We're going to move on now to the second video in the playlist called Angurus, I think. An Angurius? Angurius. Angurius Suit Incident 1955. Okay, let's let's read this one. Oh, Jesus. This one's, this one's a big one. Soon an army will rise. An army that I created. A military that shows what happens when there is a nuclear war. They will end up with the same creatures they created with the atomic bomb. The truth will be known to others, and soon my family will be avenged. They will understand that we will not resign. I will not be afraid of anyone. I'm not afraid of weapons. I'm not afraid of bombs. I'm Goji. Please help me. Please help me. What's wrong? Please help me. Please help me. Why does my body hurt? Why can't I talk? Can't I talk? It hurts. People help me. Please help me. Please help me. How can I see what happened? Will my daughter be okay? Help me. Why can't you hear me? Help. Do not speak. Please help me. <laughs> Please, God. There is no God. Who are you and what do you want from me? I want you to join me. Why can't I get out of the suit? Because it hurts. Calm down. You are one with the suit. Why? Why? Please help me. Someone, please ask. Listen to me and only to me. You were not chosen for no reason. I heard that her daughter had passed away. Did your daughter die in a bomb? Don't worry. I will heal you. I'll make you whole again. I'll help you. But only if you help me. Do you want revenge on your daughter for your son? For his wife who died without any remorse? Who are you? This is Goji, only Goji. Okay, so this is giving me like Two-Face vibes from Batman. He was an actor, but this kind of almost demon-like possession came over this person. And now he's got like a split personality where he's he's morphing in with this kind of demon thing inside the suit. Or it's almost like Ultron and Jarvis in Age of Ultron. The, uh, the Avengers. Here we go. Look, this is the one with the weird aspect ratio. I've never seen this before. Not one, but two of the most terrifying creatures that ever loosed on man. Each a raging, unkill. Wait, what did I say? Unkillable horror. Unkillable? Everything's got a weakness. Both on a rampage to stun your every sense. Gigantus, the fire monster, born to destroy each other. But first, they'll destroy the world. Here's motion picture adventure and excitement to stagger the imagination. Hey, why can't we have voice acting like that anymore? Why can't we have that same, like, instead of the one man? That's not even a thing anymore in trailers, is it? It d doesn't even do that. It just uses subtitles. But, like, I remember early 2000s, 90s, they would use that kind of voiceover voice. Then in the 50s and 60s and stuff, they would use this voice. I think they should bring this voice back. Fantastic yes, bring it back, yes. Gigantus. Man, imagine that though. Angurus. Okay, that's how you say it. 
sights and sensations beyond any, beyond any. Well, that looked like just two people wrestling right there. The man in the Godzilla suit still came along for the next movie. If they stopped and told anyone about the suit man, Toho would have been sued and ridiculed for keeping such a disgusting creation. So they decided to keep him out of the public so they could bank off the success of Gojira. So this man ended up looking like Michael after. I know there's a lot of FNAF references in here, but can you blame me? It's a whole suit thing. This man ended up looking like Michael Afton after he was scooped. <laughs> and still rocked up to work. This man is literally Michael Afton. The man in the Godzilla suit has been examined by private doctors. The doctors say that he had consumed a drug that made his skin and flesh inflate inside of the suit and the skin had fl and flesh fused together making the outside of the suit his skin. So the suit literally became his skin. What about peeing and pooing? Let's ask the real questions here. Was that suit reeking of crap? Was he, was he drowning in his own excrement? His bones were rearranged inside to match with the height of the suit. The real questions are not being answered here. What happened when he needed to go number one and number two? It turned out that he could see out of the eye sockets of the suit, but his eyes were bloodshot. Well, that sounds terrifying. His eyes were bloodshot. Yeah, mine would be too if uh, all that was happening to me. How can you sleep in that suit? You stink of crap. You're in agony. The name for the actor who plays Angiris is unknown. Angiris. Ang Angiris. People on set noticed how he was odded out by the man in the suit. No one had told him what happened and what he was now. Okay. Well, the man in the suit didn't know what was happening. Literally Two-Face. The man in the Godzilla suit was very cooperative. Even after losing his vocal cords, he could make noises like one of an animal. So he was like bellowing like a, like a crocodile, like an alligator. Everything was fine until the last scene where they would both fight would commence. Everything was fine until the last scene where they would both fight would commence. That's how I was meant to read that. Sorry, my, my reading skills are subpar. Subpar means below the amount that is shut up ryan just stop it now good god they were proper tussling weren't they come here you yes whiplash look at them, they're just walking around like humans <laughs> i mean you would you'd be a little bit slower right like is that imagine that speed that'd be terrifying something that big being that fast tom aspinall Oh, good God. So there was another actor in a suit as well. Oh, Jesus. What, did that actually happen? What's happening? The man in the Godzilla suit would chomp on the actor's head, making him bleed. This was not a part of the script. But the director was just there like... Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> I mean, we've already got a freaking, like, deformed man in a suit. Why not kill a person? The actor would yell for help as the teeth champ clamped onto him. He would stop moving. Wow, interesting. That's terrifying. The man in the suit would protect the unconscious actor as he roared at anyone who came close to it. What? So he straight up killed him, or tried killing him, and then... I, I guess it's like acting like a bear with its prey, maybe. The actor would awaken, shaking violently as he breathes heavily. The crew on set helped him up, fearing the worst. They tried to take off the suit, but it wouldn't budge. Well, the, this is the suit of the person who just had their head clamped on. A picture was taken of the man in the suit roaring and protecting the unconscious actor. Oh, God. Let's have a, let's have a look, then. Let's have a, let's have a see. This is the picture. Oh my god! Oh, that's horrible. Very uncanny. There was literally a monster on set of this film. This this guy wasn't acting. He was straight up going around and... Just <laughs> destroying Tokyo. Oh shit. I'm sure he's fine. 
Or he just needs some milk, some water, I don't know. He looked very dehydrated. This is what they expected. What? Oh god, what was actually in it? What was that? This is what they found. Oh, come, come on. The tension's killing me here. What was it? It's actually just normal. Oh, he morphed to the suit. So they both became so... I'm guessing the the person Goji or the the whatever the suit is bit onto this uh, what's this thing called Angurus and almost like a zombie infection or a vampire thing turned them into the suit. It's almost like an infection, a virus. I like that. That's really cool. I'm going to give that one a like. We're going to move on to the last one we're watching today. But um, if you guys want to see this again on the channel, let me know because there's a, there's a lot more videos and they, they each look just as good as these ones. So this last one's called Depiction of Growth, 1962 Godzilla Analog Horror. This is what the description says. I am not a monster. I will help you all. I will kill those who have wronged me, those who murdered my family and those who supported them. You, you killed my family, monsters. Okay, well, I mean, I don't think they're talking to me, so we should be good. I was startled by the first encounter of the man in the suit. It made me more curious than ever. It might harm me of doing this, but I need answers. So I've gone to one of my friends who was smart with this stuff. I won't name her, so I'll call her Eliza. Uh, I, I called her, but she was in the middle of teaching her class, but she would still call me because of how curious she was. She never seen anything like this. Interesting. I recorded the section of the call. The thing is, whatever this was caused wasn't from a pill. This is something else. Oh, God. This is the work of radiation. Mm -hmm. Holy. Holy shit. The man <laughs> in the suit doesn't fuse with the suit instantly. His body explodes in the suit, then it reshapes itself in the suit. Oh, good God. He blew in the suit. That's disgusting. How do I explain this? Imagine a cream-filled donut without the cream. Okay, listen. Listen, what, just... Well, why did you have to say cream-filled donut? It's mostly a flat donut. Okay. That was the suit before, but because of the filling. The man... It basically filled up all the space. Ooh. But him and a cream-filled donut are different. <laughs> okay, yeah, donut. you don't say. <laughs> a human being and a cream-filled donut are different. Are separate entities. Okay. There is a barrier so they don't mix. The man in the suit, however, his skin, his flesh, his bones, it's fusing with the suit. Mm -hmm. His teeth would be the suits. Whatever he took. It's mutating him. Okay, so it's radiation. Okay, and... Oh, what? So there's... A, he started growing nerve endings into the suit? Or, like, he, he grew to the suit and, like... Because does he feel stuff? I'm it guessing so. More like a creature than a human. Soon he will have animals... What, sorry, what's going on in your classroom back there? I think someone's getting freaking beaten up. ...properties. Like using its teeth more effectively. Mm. And would be able to control his tail. You see Damn. his eyes could move? And that they are bloodshot? Yeah. But in this photo, his eyes flashed back. Human eyes don't do that. Yeah, that's like cat's eyes, right? To try and put him down. Put him down? If not... Well, take him to the vets. It is probably too late for mankind. Oh, shit. Why is that? Do you want to elaborate on that? Okay, she said something about him mutating to the point that he looks like a beast. I question what he would look like when he is fully mutated. She corrected me. There is no stopping point for the mutation. She then told me to go to a, an artist and gave me a description that I sadly forgot now. What? What is that sound? I told them to make the art and they can 
complied. My Japanese would be a bit rusty because I thought I asked for one drum but got three. So this thing is literally going to grow to the size of Godzilla. Here are the drawings. What is happening there? In the background? What are they doing? Is that the man? Oof. Well, that does not look good. Good God! Is that Angiris? Oh, it's going to be huge. It's literally going to be Godzilla. Okay, I'd... Okay, I don't know what's... We'll look at the comments and see if anyone uh, translated that. No one decoded that thing, what was being said at the end there. I'm not surprised, honestly. It was, it was kind of hard to understand. But I'm really enjoying this. This is really, really good. Um, apparently four weeks ago, this person only had 38 subscribers. And now they have 11, nearly 12,000. So guys, go and support this channel. Uh, go watch the videos for yourself. If you guys want me to react to more of these, I think I will be doing it anyway. Uh, just let me know in the comment section down below. Yeah, and send me more stuff on Discord. I love stuff like this, guys. If you send me something, leave a little message there. I'll read it out. You know, I want to be a little bit more interactive with you guys. You know, include you guys a lot more in my videos because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be finding such gems like I have. Like, if it wasn't for my Discord, I would never have found the back rooms, like found footage, smile tapes, all of the ones you can think of that were really cool. Even uh, the Mandela catalog, that, that I would never have found them if it wasn't for you guys. So I'm highly grateful. And I like the, the fact that we can find these creators, these gems in this, this sea of content. It's one of the most satisfying things about doing what I do, you know, seeing someone grow because of how talented they are. But yes, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.